Great team. My next guest back in action. It's been a while. Uh, Puna Soriano going to be taking on Dusko Todorovic at UFC Fight Night on Fight Island, January 16th. Puna, how's it going, man? It's good, James. It's good. I'm glad to be here. Glad to be scheduled with the fight. It's been a bit. Uh, yeah. I was just looking here. December December 14th, 2019 was your last fight. I was at that one. That was actually the last time I was in the United States, this damn COVID stuff. But uh, what's yeah. what's been the latest? Because I know uh, there's a couple fights you had to pull out of. And, uh, you know, I just want to clear the air here. What's What's going on with you? Yeah, um, shoot, it's been a long year for me, it's kind of, uh, I'm sure it's been a long year for everyone, but I got off of that fight, um, I was supposed to fight, um, I think it was Eric Spicely, right? Yep, I was supposed to fight Spicely, I ended up getting a concussion and grappling, Okay. uh, I was going through some transitions and caught a knee to the ear, um, it's weird, I didn't go out or nothing, but like, just... Later that day, I was just like, oh, I don't feel right. Yeah. So that happened. And then um, I was supposed to fight, um, what's his, uh, uh, freaking. Let me look it up here. I, I, yeah, I, I was uh, trying to, I was actually trying to look Fluffy. that up. I was supposed to fight Fluffy. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Friend. Anthony Hernandez. Yeah, exactly. So I was supposed to fight Fluffy and like, I wasn't even fully healed from the concussion yet. I was still like in the process of it, but I was in like the proper steps. But uh, COVID happened and shut down everything, and I feel like everything I was doing to to combat the concussion kind of just flopped, and like it, I felt the symptoms come right back. Oh no! Okay. And then, so that happened, and then finally the gyms open up again, yada yada. The first day of training, I'm not sure how it happened. Um, I ended up tearing the labrum in my hip. Wow. And uh, yeah, it was like a freak accident. Um, I assume it happened at practice, but the adrenaline must have been carried over all the way till later that day because I woke up at four in the morning that night in just crazy pain, couldn't move, and uh, we got an MRI and whatever, and it turns out uh, the labrum was torn. I had like a bone bruise that like was leading to like the hip fracturing, so like I don't know what happened, but it was pretty crazy. Man, I thought I had a bad 2020. That that stinks. <laughs> yeah. If there's something in the water, extreme couture, because I know Kevin Lee's had a pretty difficult year with his injuries as well. So that's too uh-huh. bad to hear about that. Um, yeah. Well, like I said, good to good to see you back. Like when when would you have wanted to take your fight? Was this the right amount of time, or were you looking to get in there earlier? Um, no, this is honestly the perfect amount of time. Um, I kind of was unclear still. Um, that's how bad the injury was when I first took it. But I kind of took it on a whim, hoping. By the time the fight rolled around, I would, like, be in perfect shape. But I actually ended up healing a little quicker than I thought I would. So, like, I really have no excuses now. It's just um, I'm healthy and I'm moving towards the fight, moving towards winning again. And then last thing, sort of on the layoff, uh, financially, how tough was it? You know, because I know, obviously, uh, you know, you had other uh, means of uh, income, you know, leading into your UFC career. But, uh, you know, in yeah, general, yeah. was it how difficult was it, uh, you know, to kind of do that? Because I know it's not cheap, uh, you know, especially uh, living in Vegas. Yeah, for sure. Um, well, it's a lot cheaper than living in Hawaii. But... Well, that's true, yeah. Or California, even. <laughs> but uh, so- somehow I made it work. I mean, I get free food from the PI, free supplements, um, free trifecta meals if I need. So I kind of like... <laughs> Are you like to your, or to your girlfriend, you're just like, hey, we're having trifecta again for dinner. Basically, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah basically. We've lived off the PI for the last year. Good for so you. So that was nice. Good stuff. <laughs> All right, well, let's talk about your opponent here. 10-0 and record. Uh, what mm-hmm. do you know about him? How do you feel like you match up against him? Yeah, he's a tough dude. Um, he looks skillful everywhere. Um, I'm really excited to compete with him. I want to just get after it and stay in his face, same as usual, nothing different. I want to continue being dominant and keeping the pressure on guys and breaking people. Love it. Uh, training camp, who are you getting to work with as far as bodies in the gym? Uh, a lot of people now. Maki Pitolo actually moved up here. Um, I've been working with him, Brad, Tavares, um, Ryder Newman, he's a stud coming up. Um, Montel, he's here and there. He's um, crazy jujitsu, um, but he had like a crazy year, so he's kind of been out for a while. But he's been one of my training partners as well. Nice little variety. And then I know you spend a little bit yeah. of time. I know Eric Anders has come through the gym. Same with Ian Hines. Yeah, yeah. You get to work with those guys too, right? So definitely, I love whenever Eric's in town. Yeah, he's a, he's, he's a character. Yeah, that's good. Um, and then the weight cut, I was going to ask you about that because I know you're not like a, like a huge guy, but uh, you're, mm-hmm. you're going to be traveling pretty far for Fight Island. Have you sort of anticipated that, maybe cutting a bit more weight at home or uh, what, what's sort of the game plan with that? And we got Christmas coming up too. True, true. Uh, I don't know. I never really worry about my weight. I honestly don't even 
really look at the scale until like two weeks before or a week before. Okay. Um, I don't know. My body, regardless of how heavy I am, I can get up to like 215 if I'm trying hard. But no matter what, when it comes down to the fight, my body just knows it's time to lose weight and it gets smaller. Good stuff. Who's going to be in your corner for this fight? I'll have uh, Nate Pettit and Eric Nixick. Okay. And how's this fight playing out in the 16th? You feel like you're going to get your hand raised? Otherwise, why sign the contract? But how do you envision it playing out? Um, you know, he honestly is tough. I picture it being as I I kind of see two ways. Like he's a dog too. I'm I'm not afraid of the war. Um, but obviously, like I I don't want it. You know, if 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 we don't need to have a war, I'd rather put him out and just let it be like that. But I'm also willing and ready to do whatever it takes to finish this guy whether it be a three-long roar or whatever. Not looking past January 16th, but is the plan, you know, to kind of get a quick turnaround after this just to kind of make up for lost time or you just want to take it fight to fight? Ideally, yeah. Um, I got that fire burning in me. I want to make up for lost time. I got to see a bunch of teammates have a strong year, you know, um, kind of put in the work throughout this pandemic and it, it hurt to not be able to do the same. But we'll see. I had those plans last year and look what happened this year. So I'm kind of just taking it one step at a time all right now if you're not a fan of mtv's the challenge i suggest you turn the interview off now because that's all we're <laughs> going to talk about from here on out but did For you sure. watch the the season uh premiere was it last week or week before did you see it what'd you think yeah i see that it. it's good um i like it i'm interested uh it it could have been anything you know it could have been the most boringest thing ever but for some reason if it has the name MTV is the challenge, I love it. I just, I'm addicted to it. Well, I like too how they added, so they added the wrestler, right? Leo Rush, who I've heard about for a while. Right. Like I'm not even a big wrestling fan. So I think that's cool. And Lolo Jones, like I watched her on the challenge, the one they did with charity yep. or whatever. She's a badass. Like I can't she wait is. to see how she's she does beast. like later in the season. So yeah, she's dangerous. Yeah. Um, and, and do you like the partner format they've done where they're kind of, you know, kind of making things a little bit interesting. Like you have to go in to get a red skull. Yeah, yeah, it's interesting, and you can, like, change your partners if you win. Um, shoot, that, that kind of plays a lot. Like, there's a lot more to think about now in the game. It's not just winning. Yeah, and not being, like, staying out of the elimination, right? Like, you got to yeah, get your skull, yeah. so it's super important. Um, do you think the show's taken a bit of a hit with Bananas not being on this season? I was a little disappointed to see that. <laughs> um, or are you sick of him? Because he's, he's on, like, every season. No, I like him. I like the, the competitiveness he brings, you know? He's a winner, and... He brings that winning attitude, but um, it's cool to get some fresh blood in there. But something about the competition of that show, it really like I like to watch it in camp. It makes me feel a little more competitive, and I just love it. Is there anything you wouldn't do on this show? Like, are, I don't know if you're afraid of heights or anything. There's some stuff I'm like, I don't think I could do that. It's crazy. <laughs> um, I am afraid of heights, but I feel like I might be able to overcome it uh, if I was on it. Um, but no, you're maybe fearless. Sp- yeah. some bugs or something i i can't do bugs i don't know Who would, if, if you could so this season's all about the partners and i know I, I think if you ever did a reality show you'd have to go on with dan Ige, right you guys are like buddies <laughs> you grew up together but if, if you could pick a partner who do you think would be a good partner for you on that show male or female doesn't matter male or female um i'd have to go with my favorite character i'd have to go with ct for sure okay um but if you could pick a fighter though who, who would be a oh, good fighter, fighter to bring sorry, on sorry. yeah no no worries ct's a good uh, pick a fighter um Maybe Francis. Oh, yeah. There you go. There's a good one. <laughs> I feel like Francis could win at anything physical, and he's, like, really smart, too. So I feel like he could take care of some puzzles and stuff, and I could just hang out and have a good time, maybe. I feel like Francis <laughs> would be that guy that, like, if you voted against him and he came back in elimination, like, he'd never forget it and would, like, hold it <laughs> oh, against for you forever. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> for that, sure. That would be crazy. MTV, you got to step up your game here get some UFC fighters on there. Uh, Puna, thanks so much for the time, man. I really appreciate sure. it. Glad to see you back in action. Uh, if you got anyone you want to thank, any sponsors, any social media you want to plug, I'll give you the last word. Yeah, just uh, thanks to everyone that's been there supporting me. Um, Perfect Sports, uh, everyone at the PI, Nate Pettit, Eric Nixick, everyone at Extreme. Thank you, guys.